Campbell Hosfeld uh, VT636200 uh, 3.7 horsepower 60 gallon 11 CFM air compressor uh, purchase this through KMS Tools and Equipment in Abbotsford um, just wanted to do a quick review if you're in the market for a big air compressor those guys are the guys to hit up uh, this thing is amazing I love it um, it's not noisy at all um, 11 CFM so I can run my sanders and sandblaster of course for short short bursts uh, it's 150 PSI um, I've dialed it down to 140 because my regulator can only handle a maximum of 140 um, the only thing I changed on this is the air filter um, which of course I got from KMS um, it was like 20 bucks for that filter way better seems to give it way more airflow um, I noticed a difference in the uh, filling time switching to that from the tiny little uh, factory Campbell one it is a single stage 220 volt um, all it required was a 15 amp breaker nothing fancy not too big and perfect for at home or even in a small shop you know, where there's uh, one or two technicians working um, absolutely amazing the only thing I notice with this is uh, that copper line there it gets pretty hot when you know when you're running a sander of course like any compressor but um, that, that thing gets hot I mean it, you can see the discoloration in it already but I love this thing um, if you're in the market for a compressor those guys are the guys to hit up um, as KMS Tools in uh, Coquitlam, British Columbia. Absolutely love this thing. I can't say it enough how much I love this thing, and it was it was cheap. You know, it was under four hundred dollars. I picked this thing up for. I mean, like it's huge. Like you can see that toolbox is 60, 63 inches tall, and it's a nice big compressor. Um, I put some uh, chunks of wood and rubber feet or a little rubber uh, baseboard to stop the vibrations. Uh, I'd like to get the anti-vibration pads. I may do so next week. Um, I paired that up here with a new line hose and fitting hose also from KMS Tools. They had these hoses on for $14.95 uh it's it's like a knockoff of the of the legacy flexzilla hose so it doesn't kink up you know when it's under pressure it's amazing of course there's my regulator i was talking about that's only good to 140 psi but i got that thing for 10 bucks from kms so all in all i'm into this thing for you know 450 bucks you know like that's amazing for a 60 gallon compressor 450 bucks including a hose and a regulator like unbelievable I love this thing um, you can see it's of course holding I don't know 100 psi and I haven't turned it on for about three days so she's she's nice I'd run it right now but it's about midnight so <laughs> I'm not gonna run it right now um, you can see it's Marathon Electric Motor. Uh, yeah, it's a, of course, like I said, single phase, 15.7 amps. I don't know if you can see that. Um, this is what they call a reconditioned model. That's why it's black. Uh, it doesn't really mean much. It means somebody could have bought it and you know maybe had an issue with the pressure switch, and then it just it legally has to be sold as a. Uh, reconditioned unit you can see the tag there um, I've saw these things online going from anywhere from 399 is well, I believe that's what I paid or did I pay 375 I think I paid 375 um, and I've seen them all the way up to about 499 so um, 155 max PSI 11 CFM at 90 um, 13.4 at 40 of course, like I said, 3.7 horse. Um, definitely, if you're in the market 
What I was trying those to say guys is that those the... guys are worth checking out if you're in the market for a compressor. They seem to be very helpful and very knowledgeable.